Hi folks, Astronomy Live here. Back on April 23rd, the New Horizons probe took a picture of the nearby star Wolf 359. I took a picture of that star, timed such that the light that left that star arrived at my telescope at the same moment that it also arrived at the New Horizons probe. The New Horizons team organized this event, which was called the New Horizons Parallax Program, an effort to get amateur astronomers involved in measuring the parallax of a nearby star, using the world's longest baseline, the distance between Earth and New Horizons, which was over 4 billion miles at the time of this measurement. Normally, parallax is measured by taking advantage of the diameter of a heliocentric orbit and performing observations that are spaced months apart. For the first time, parallax was measured in a nearby star with simultaneous observations, one observer on Earth and the New Horizons probe. Due to the vast distance between the New Horizons probe and Earth, even amateur equipment can readily see the parallax in these observations, simply by blinking the images back and forth, as seen here. The color image was taken by my 8-inch LX200 telescope with an SBIG ST2000 XCM camera, which is a single-shot color camera, and an AO7 adaptive optics unit. The black and white, or grayscale image, was taken by the New Horizons probe, and you can see how the single bright star in the middle shifts position between that image and my image. That's because of the distance between Earth and the probe, and that causes the position of the star to appear to shift relative to the background stars. We can use this to actually measure the distance to the star if we can measure the angle between the star's position as seen from Earth and as seen from the New Horizons probe. We can do this very precisely using astrometry, which is the measurement of the coordinates in the image using the background stars as reference. Here is the astrometric measurement of Wolf 359's position as seen from my telescope at 4 hours universal time, which is synced so that the light that left the star reached Earth at the same time that it reached the New Horizons probe. Here is the astrometry of the New Horizons image with an overlay showing the position of the star as seen in my image. Measuring the distance between these positions gives us the parallax. It's worth noting here that the LORI instrument on New Horizons actually took a sequence of three images in rapid succession over about 15 seconds of time. I did a minimum stack of these three images using a custom program I wrote to take the minimum pixel value from all three images to create the final stack. This eliminates cosmic ray strikes from the image and cleans up the noise. Now that we've measured the parallax, let's see if we can calculate the distance to Wolf 359 using these measurements. First, we need to know the distance to the New Horizons probe, which was 46.85 astronomical units at the time of the measurement, which translates to about 0 .0007408 light years. Next, we need to know the angle between Wolf 359 and the New Horizons probe as seen from Earth. That angle was 125.208 degrees at the time of the measurement. We know from the astrometry measurements seen earlier that the parallax angle was 0 0.00447 degrees. This triangle adds up to a total of 180 degrees. And so because we know the other two angles, we now know the third angle, which is 54.787 degrees. And now we can use the Law of Sines to find the side of the triangle between the Earth and Wolf 359. In other words, we can now calculate the distance between Earth and Wolf 359. So now, using the Law of Sines and taking 0 0.0007408 light years divided by the sine of 0 0.00 447 degrees, and multiplying all of this by the sine of 54.787 degrees, we find that the distance to Wolf 359 is roughly 7.8 light years, pretty much right on the money. I want to give a thank you to NASA and New Horizons for making it possible for an amateur like me to measure the distance to Wolf 359 to within about a tenth of a light year using my own telescope in conjunction with the New Horizons probe. That about does it for this video, so until next time, clear skies folks.